Yes, and you have a clinic because you are a licensed acupuncturist yes. along with a holistic nurse. So people come to your clinic. Now, yes. is there anything particular that they come to your clinic for or why they seek out your clinic? Primarily, I think people seek out Chinese medicine or more specifically, they seek out acupuncture. Okay. And they're primarily seeking it out for pain issues. Okay. That is the most common correlation if somebody's in pain, particularly chronic pain, and oftentimes they've tried many other treatments that haven't worked very well, they will then think of acupuncture. So many of my patients come to the clinic initially for acupuncture for pain issues. Mm -hmm. And those can be musculoskeletal pains, low back ache, uh, sports injuries. Mm -hmm. um, also we treat women's health issues, menstrual issues, menopausal issues, okay. um, headaches, migraine headaches. Mm -hmm. People will come to the clinic for treatment for nausea due to chemo and radiation treatment. Oh. So those are the primary reasons people initially come in. Mm -hmm. But you have a uniqueness to your clinic, right? Yes, I do. Yeah. I, I, because I am trained both in Western medicine, in nursing, and in Chinese medicine, I really always wear the hat of Chinese medicine, but my hat of Western medicine is never too far away. Sure. I respect much of Western medicine, particularly its diagnostic capabilities. Mm -hmm. I think it's marvelous that we can do an MRI or a CAT scan and various blood work and really look inside the human body. Mm -hmm. I think that's phenomenal. Yes. So I like to make sure that people get appropriate Western medical diagnostics anyway. Mm -hmm. Some people come in and think they don't want anything to do with Western medicine, and sometimes that's appropriate and sometimes it's not. Mm -hmm. So I, I like to be able to have my hat on and my respect for Western medicine to refer people back to their primary care physician. Sure. Just to double check things out. Mm -hmm. And what a great way to complement each other. Yes. You know, instead of saying, oh, you can only do it this way or this way, but here you're working collaboratively. Correct. And the goal is to get the patient well. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I always say, if you would come to me mm -hmm. and you had seen your doctor and then you come to my clinic and I look at you, you're the same person. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So between the Western doctor and between me, you don't change. Mm -mm. So it's just what perspective, what medical perspective your your particular situation is being viewed through. Mm -hmm. What lens is it being viewed through? So there are very many complementary um, components to both medicines, as well as homeopathy. Some people come in and they're using homeopathy. Mm -hmm. Yes, and to me, of course, now it, it seems as if it's getting recognized a lot more with Western medicine instead of yes. someone saying, oh, what are you thinking about You know, having someone put a needle in you? Now it's Correct. very much respected. It is getting know? more and more respect. More and more studies are being done mm -hmm. to validate it in the eyes of Western medicine, right. um, both in the eyes of physicians who would be referring and also insurance companies who would consider um, having benefits for acupuncture. Many physicians appreciate working with me as I do them because mm -hmm. sometimes their hands are tied. Mm -hmm. They've offered everything they have to offer mm -hmm. and they're very grateful to have another helping hand. So they like the collaboration. And in many instances, we're able to bring medications down for people, bring the dose of medications down. Mm -hmm. um, they, don't, they don't completely get off of their medications, which is fine, but to sure. be able to reduce the dose and mm -hmm. reduce side effects. So there's, there's some nice collaboration going on, and that's what excites me about the future, mm -hmm. is being able to hold hands with um, practitioners in other, in other realms mm -hmm. and really treat people and really treat the whole person mm -hmm. and help them heal. Yes. Because the body naturally wants to heal. Yes. And if you give it a little bit of the correct treatment, mm -hmm. it will do that. Right. It's always about homeostasis. Western medicine uses that term a lot, mm -hmm. homeostasis, which means a balance, right? Right. So we have many mechanisms in our body that are homeostatic. If our temperature goes up too high, we have a mechanism to try to bring it down. Right. If our blood pressure is too low, our body will naturally try to bring it up. Mm -hmm. That's homeostasis, and right. that's really the fundamental basis of Western medicine. Mm -hmm. Uniquely, it is also that in Chinese medicine. We just call it yin and yang. Okay. So different term, mm -hmm. same perspective. Right. And the body is a magnificent tool. 
Absolutely. And it does want to correct itself as well. And having both working with Western medicine and also you, you know, they are on the right. road to recovery. Yes. And along with that, your, the statistics for working with people with Chinese medicine are very, very mm -hmm. high now. They are very high. You know? They are very high. I would have to say in my practice, 85 to 90 percent of the people coming in experience relief to significant relief to total um, relief mm -hmm. from their symptoms, depending upon what we're working with. There are some people who don't experience a benefit from Chinese medicine, mm -hmm. but I would have to say those are very few and far between. Mm -hmm. And ethically, if someone is coming to me for treatment and we don't make satisfactory progress within six to eight treatments, I think six is cutting it a little tight because mm -hmm. oftentimes people come to me with something that has been bugging them for 15 or 20 years. Sure. So to expect the body to correct itself mm -hmm. in anything less than eight treatments I think is asking a lot of the body, but sure. it happens. Mm -hmm. So I always say if we don't make satisfactory progress within about eight treatments, then oh. I would have to say this isn't this this isn't the treatment that's right for you. Sure. But that doesn't happen very often. Generally speaking, people will will benefit. Mm -hmm. Wow. And in today's society, we're all so stressed out with everything that's going on. Yes. And you're seeing people of high stress levels. So how is the paradigm of Chinese medicine working on that in modern day? You know, modern day stress is, I think, the real dark horse mm. in our midst. It is now estimated, the last I looked at, it's estimated that 90% of visits to primary care physicians are stress related. 90%, which is phenomenal. No matter what people are going to their doctors for, 90% mm -hmm. of them will have a component of stress that is either causing the problem or exacerbating the problem. Sure. So stress is huge. Mm -hmm. And I think it's taking a toll on us that we don't even recognize. I think culturally, we have an experience of stress. We have phones and communication systems that never shut down, mm -hmm. and we pay attention to them. Yes. That's a good lesson to learn is to, they do have an off button, mm -hmm. and it is appropriate mm -hmm. to turn them off. Well, it's sort of like me time. You know, they, Correct. They say how important me time is, and I was actually somewhere, and it's like, oh my goodness, just shut your phone off and don't text for maybe 45 minutes, right. you'll be okay. Right, yes. you will be okay. Mm -hmm. So that's, yeah. that. the whole technology has created, um, I think, a stress in our life. And some of it has been obviously to the benefit in terms of the technology and what it does for us, but it carries a price, mm -hmm. it carries a price. In Chinese medicine, we definitely look at stress as an imbalance. Mm -hmm. And technically, we would call it probably a kidney imbalance, and I'm not talking about kidney as an organ, but energetics, sure. the energetics of that, because it wears us down. Mm -hmm. In Western medicine, we take a look at the nervous system, the sympathetic and the parasympathetic. In Chinese medicine, that would be kidney yin and kidney yang. Okay. So again, there are the two mirror images. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the same thing. Sure. And when we are in stress, certain systems in our body really take a back seat. Mm -hmm. Our respiration takes a back seat. Our digestion definitely takes a back seat. Mm -hmm. Our reproduction takes a back seat. Our immune system is impacted. So when we're under stress, and I'm not talking about a 10 minute stress, a crisis that we work through and get through. Right. I'm talking about the day to day grind mm -hmm. that we feel. It definitely impacts our systems. You know, we're getting more and more worn down. How do we see that? Levels of fatigue that go to the extreme of exhaustion. Sure. People just don't have any energy anymore. Mm -hmm. Their thinking is brain foggy. Mm -hmm. You know, not feeling like they're on top of things. Um, their digestion, I think that digestive medications are, I know they're definitely in the top 10 sellers of pharmaceutical sales. Mm -hmm. I think they're number third. Sure. So the upset stomach, the constant not in your stomach, mm -hmm. you know, we see that a lot. We see sleep issues are huge. Yes. Sleep issues. And there's a reason sleep deprivation is used as torture mm. because it's devastating to the body. Sure. Um, the latest statistic I heard is that 24 hours without sleep causes the equivalent cognitive dysfunction as driving legally drunk. Oh my. 
So we're that impaired mm -hmm. with lack of sleep. Mm -hmm. So chronic sleep deprivation or sleep interruption, waking up not feeling rested, mm -hmm. is really a key signal for people to stop and say, I need to take a look at this, yes. you know, because losing sleep or not having sleep becomes the norm. Mm -hmm. And it's not a healthy norm. No. So there are many things that we can take a look at um, in oh, Chinese medicine. Right, because we're a go, go, go society. Yes. We continue and we keep going and going. And then all of a sudden, you know, we have to get so sick that we call in sick and right. go to bed and then we're down for two, three days and that's the body trying to recoup. Yes. Because we've pushed it beyond its capability. Correct.